Oh yeah, it's uh, it's, it should be live, bro. Yeah. Shalom. Shalom. We are the we are the men of GMS, Valley Austin, Georgia, Tallahassee, Florida. Coming out again with another group of lesson, praying that it's edifying. But first of all, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, Double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS for teaching us the 100% truth of these scriptures. Want to say a hard and shout one to all this arguing and outwa that tra striving in this same true doctrine. Shout uh, My first scripture today is going to be the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, starting at verse 22. And from there, we're going to go way of the spirit leaders. This is out of the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 22. It says, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? What does it take for the Most High to get your attention? How many different er situations and errors you done went through, and you still hate? You do the same thing, but you expect a different result. Hey, that's called insanity. We just came out of, what is it, Memorial Day. Thanksgiving. 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 Now here we come, well, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving. Now we're heading into another pagan holiday, Christmas. With that, we'll move to the next book, uh, Proverbs. Hey, I'm, I'm going to read the NLT okay. real quick. This is our Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22 NLT. It says, how long, you simpletons, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you, you mockers, relish, relish, relish your mocking? How long will you, you fools hate knowledge? So basically, it's saying the same thing, bro. You know, just in a better time, you know, New, Ling uh, New Living Translation. You know, cause you Jake ain't nothing but a bunch of simpletons, like the brother was saying. Why should we? Why? Why the Lord got to keep standing his hand out? The scripture says in um, Isaiah one, you're gonna revolt more and more. Why should he be stricken anymore? Why does the Lord keep punishing you? You know, you're gonna continue your same iniquities. You know, you're never gonna learn. You're never gonna correct your behavior. So the Lord's gonna kill you, niggas, man. That's right. That's the remedy. It ain't no remedy but death. And I often say, hey, at some point in time, hey, the Most High gonna get fed up. You know, hey. Yeah, ex exactly, because that's why the Lord is going to bring the sword. That's right. That door of mercy is going to slam shut in your face. Just like you turn your back on him, he's going to turn his back on you. Yeah, that's right. And you know, hey, his brother said that, hey, back in the day when them old folks said, hey, I'm through talking, hey, man, after that, it was your ass. So, hey. Yeah, you only tell niggas so much, man. You know, some judges are all coming. Uh, you can read on down to verse 33 on that. Uh, this is the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 20. I'll be slack here. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 23. It says, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. This is the most high. He actually, hey, look. When are you going to learn? You know, what does it take for you to just learn that, hey, I mean what he mean what he say. And he say what he mean. So now, at what point in time you gonna take heed? Alright, don't wait till it's too late. And that's what Jake do. They wait till the last minute to get shit done. Procrastination, you know? This is uh, Proverbs 23. That's like it. Proverbs 1 and 24. It says, because I have called and ye have refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Mm. How many times he gonna stretch out his hand and you gonna, hey, you gonna slap his hand away? You know, hey, we see it time and time again. Right. We be out here, we be trying to, hey, share this word, share this gospel with you. You'll come up to that light. You'll wind your windows up. You'll turn your music up. You'll, you'll raise your engine. Some of you, if you're walking, you'll cross the other side of the street to keep from hearing this word, to keep from hearing, hey, hearing what does said the most high. Right. Like I said, at some point in time, when he get fed up, 
He gonna turn his back on you just like you turn your back on him. I got a precept. I went into this earlier on my lesson I just did. Oh, you got one? Yeah, I got one. You got it, bro. Yeah, this is uh, Amos 3, and um, let me start at verse 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So now, that's a prime example of who the Israelites are. He's telling you who you are. Hey, it's plain as the nose on your face. Hey, he's, he's, he's talking specifically to you. You, Jake. Says, the um, the not, entire 12 tribes. He's talking to you. He said he's uh, had, uh, only you. He only dwelt with the nation of Israel. That's right. All the founders of the earth. So that's there's right. 17 other nations. But the uh, Lord is only dealing with one. That's your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know? He's not dealing with the uh, white man and the other nations. Because, first of all, the so called white man was created to be the weak. And, and um, he set up for a point in time like now. You know, he's doing his job. But you, the uh, two thirds of our people ain't doing their job. That's so right. Why they, they fall after the fucking heat. They want, they're getting ready to celebrate Christmas, man. All this bullshit. And if, I, and if I can add to your point, the scripture says there's nothing new under the sun. Back right. then, there was Israel right. as Israelites right. doing the same shit they're doing today. They're just coming back and fulfilling their life. Right? Yep. They, were, they was worshiping uh, Tammuz and weeping for Tammuz and doing um, uh, Semiramis, I think of that. Or it's another name for it. Uh, Aisha thought, I think that's it. Yeah, they was worshiping. That's where they get Easter from. You know? Yeah, that too, Serapis Christus, if I'm not mistaken. But they was doing the same shit back then, man. I checked the, uh, I checked the weather. It shouldn't be. Okay. Should be raining, so. Pardon. I had checked. Let's see the moon there, man. Let's go to uh, the book of Proverbs. Chapter. Oh, I got, I got a precept. Yeah, okay. This is the book of um, Second Chronicles, chapter 36, verse 15. It says, And Yahweh, power of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers which are the prophets, yep. rising up beat times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the, of, of the Most High, the wrath of Yahweh arose, arose against his people till there was no remedy. So like a, another example of a, a somebody mocking the prophets with that guy a couple, month, a couple weeks ago, out there trying to make a joke out of the men of the Lord, and, you know, just like Mike Upps and that other guy did. Yeah, you know, one, they, of, them one, of, them got, yeah, yeah. one of them got put to death, man. That's right. You know, so mocking the prophets, it, it ain't nothing new, but it's gonna come with heavy consequences, repercussions, because this word, you basically mocking the Lord, man. The yeah. scripture says the Lord is not mocked. You know, you gonna reap what you gonna you fucking sow. The Lord got play. You wanna joke with the Lord? The Lord got a joke for your motherfucking ass, yeah. man. It's called and he, yeah. Exactly. You know. I got a piece of it. This is uh, the book of John, chapter 12 and verse 48. He that rejected me and receiveth not my word, have one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Right. So the uh, same is going to judge all right, you wicked uh, scoffers out here, man. You know, it said, I got a scripture right here. It says, should be scoffers in the last days. Yep. You got guys that's doing parodies of so called doing parodies of Israelites, making mockery of the Lord's yeah. men, you know, being a mm -hmm. fucking demon. You know, on the common board, of course, you got the common board warriors. You know, a the, the, uh, scoffer's job is to, to do exactly what they're doing. Hey, they, they're a necessary evil, though, man, at the end of the day, because the Lord warned us so. And I got the scripture right here. All right, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3. It says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Especially lust us. In their mind, really, they don't want America to be destroyed. You know, especially the ones that got paid off and took that um, bribe, that 501c3 charter. You know, they don't want to see American, uh, America destroyed because they're comfortable. And they comfortable in their wickedness, man. They don't want to see, they really don't want to see a slave master, the so-called white man go down, man. Right. Yeah, but too bad. Especially you women, you definitely don't want to see this place go down because you live in luxury, uh, luxurious, luxurious here, man. That's right. 
You know? Yeah. Oh, nobody have a problem saying that word. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Yeah, tongue. They all, they all got it good. But the scriptures say, you see that little bit pleasure is dead while she's sitting there. You're only living the illusion. Right. In a while, man. That's right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 5, starting at verse 11. And that morning at the last, when that flesh and that body are consumed. Okay, at that particular time when the Most High get fed up, hey, and, and we bless you with one of them labor beans. Yeah. Now you're going to want to, hey, wonder why, you know, what's going on. Why is the Most High taking this wrath out on me? Because you refuse to obey his law, statute, and commandment. And you know, um, that's scripture speaking about the strangeness of your salvation. They want to hope to be beamed up. They're they going to see us, Lord willing, we over there in lick. See us get beamed up. But they're going to notice past the pork shop. They ain't be, being beamed up, but they seeing the men that they stalked. That's right. They mocked and made fun of being beamed up and, and delivered, and they 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 gonna want they gonna be scared like damn. Well, uh, these dudes been you know script speak of that man. These dudes been cursing and you know they uh, these men. You know what about Pastor Boyshaw? Man, he's been all ill and witty. You know. Yeah, he's been to seminary school. Seminary school. Yeah. Been, Appear to be knowledgeable, but yeah. those guys they don't know what they're talking about. All they do is uh, uh, go on angry rants, and you know, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? I'm not going to say it's not wrong. But yeah, you know, just being angry at the world, these guys being beamed up. See, they ain't going to consider that, man. You know, they, their ways are wicked, man. You know, first. Yes, no. okay. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 5, start again at verse 11. And that morning at the last, when that flesh and that body are consumed, and say, How have I hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof? Right. This is how you hated instruction. You see the men of the Most High out here on a weekly basis. Do you stop and inquire? You don't, you, matter of fact, you don't even want, you don't want to hear the word of the most high. You shine it on every occasion. So, like I say, you wind your window up, you raise your motor up, turn your music up, cross the other side of the street, whatever it takes to avoid hearing the word of the most high. It's okay, you know, because that day, a day is going to come where you're going to seek y'all by shooting up shop. You're going to seek the Lord. You're going to seek answers. And that day is gonna come because, hey, it's gonna get bad out here. It's gonna get bad in this world. And everybody gonna be looking for answers. But the time ain't for answers, it's the time for judgment. Now, right. the answers were presented to you, but when you, you didn't pay attention to it. You got it Proverbs chapter five, verse 13. And have not obeyed the voice of my teachers. Oh yeah, the, the teachers are the prophets and men of the Lord, the prophets. You know, they're the leaders of Israel, if you will, you know, and you don't want to, you want to mock those men, you know, in the, neglecting the sacrifice that those men are making to come out here week in and week out and enduring through the hell that they have to catch in order to bring out here, bring out the word, man. It's a tough, it's a, so, it's a tough job being a prophet, a man of the Lord. It ain't easy. It, is, it, it wasn't set up to be easy, man. You know, even in the old days, the scripture says the things are written before time, written before learning. Hey, the old prophets call hell. That's right, bro. You know? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 5, verse 13. And have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. You know, hey, you, you refuse to be instructed. You know, hey, you despise this, these words. You despise this knowledge. First precept. You know, all right, this is all Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Hey, brother, as the brother read, hey, seek the Lord while he, he is near. At some point in time, man, it's going to be just as it was in the day of Noah. Right. Hey. How, how old is the Lord here, brother? Because of the prophet. That's right. The men right. out here on the streets. Yes. Out here That's making right. the sac That's sacrifice right. and everything. That's this right. is the altar right here. We're offering our bodies a living sacrifice in order for you to get the truth. Man. That's right. Speaking, speaking through the men's other, uh, you see all these cones here. Yeah. 
That's what we're speaking to. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 17. Proverbs 17 and verse 18. Well, I got some more, a little bit more. Uh, this is on verse 7. It says, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto Yahweh by Shemal Shah, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly depart. So, hey, let the wicked forsake his way, man. And we forsook the way of um, this world. We forsook this world, and that's what we're required to do as men of the Lord. When we come in this truth, all right, we got to turn over new leaf, so to speak. We got to pull off that old man and come come back to our power, man. We got to leave Jesus Christ alone, Allah alone, Buddha alone, wherever philosophy we was in, and we got to seek Yahweh by the smell of the shot, man. All right? That was it on that. I got a precept. This is the book of uh, Proverbs 13 and 13. It says, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. And a lot of our people despise the words of the Lord. How do they despise it? They don't listen to them. That's right. They ignore it. They they regard it. They don't they don't care. The ignorance is bliss. They would rather continue in their ignorance than to listen to the words of the Lord. And it only takes a moment of your time. You ain't doing shit. Watching the game, doing some bullshit. You can come out here and listen to what the Lord has to say. It's for your benefit. You know, it's only it's for your benefit. If you want to help your damn self, you'll be out here. If you don't want to help your goddamn self, you won't be out here. Simple as that. Yep. Proverbs uh, 13 and 13, it says, Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Right. And ultimately, the commandments is the scriptures. And uh, in this day of time, we are commanded not to do what? Not to take the chip. Not to follow after the ways of the world. You know? That's right. It said Proverbs 17 18. Proverbs 17 18. All right. This is Proverbs 17 and 18 says, A man void of understanding strike of hands. Come. A man void of understanding strike his hand. That means a man that is, this lack of understanding, he uses his brute strength or just violence to make his point because he has no understanding. Yep. It says, and become a surety in the presence of his friend. Hey, that's your average Jake. Hey, if you got a, if you got a crowd, he want to show out. You know, it's all about, hey, it's all about me, me. You know, that's self-pride. That's self and that's one of the main things that's got us in the situation that we in now, that pride. And a hearty spirit before a fall. That's Proverbs 17, no, 16, 18. Okay. That's pretty much it on that. Um, let's see. Uh, Psalms 145, verse 17. All right. Look at Psalms chapter 145. In verse 17, it says, The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. Come. So when the Most High come by, and he, hey, he pour out his wrath on this, on this wicked Babylonian society, and, hey, he righteous in, in uh, his judgment. Hey. So, yes, uh, when them, when them missiles go to falling, and some people gonna have their own person personal missile that gonna fall right in their lap, right on their kitchen dining, their dining room table. Yeah. Hey, that's on you. Like, uh, you go down to verse 19, it says, he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserve of all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. That is the most high telling you all you got to do is come back to him. How hard is that to do? I mean, you know, hey, we go all out for certain situations. Why we can't go all out for the most high? Yeah, like I was saying last week, I believe Jacob go all out for a uh, 
bandana or the color. You know, they won't go all out for the yeah, first time. You know, it's crazy because like I know somebody from California and they, man, that type of shit split up families, man. Yeah, yeah. they do. They be serious about that shit, bro. But they won't be serious about your how about you know stuff. That's right. Because the Lord gave them over to a real big money. Right. Niggas will die over a fucking flag, a color, man. A block. A block. They won't die for the Lord, That's man. That's right. Earlier I seen two brothers, they was they had veins popping out the side of their neck, arguing over arguing over a football game. Uh -oh. You know. See? A damn football game. And that kind of shit divides too. Yeah. It's folly. This based on folly can divide. Yeah. Football, they say the uh, three hottest topics that can stir up violence is what? Uh, politics, religion, and sports. Mm -hmm. You know? So, hey, but, hey, we willing to die for the, the real um, thing right here, man. This, this act of faith right here. This is going to bring, this is the ultimate controversy to the world. The truth. You know? Truth, the old saying is truth is, uh, uh, Stranger than fiction, kind of. So, hey, when when uh, people realize that uh, when we put on blast and people realize what we're coming up against it, but we're so we're talking against this society, they gonna come at us hard, man. Because you know, this is a total adverse to them. Uh, uh, the belief system, so to speak. You know, that's why we have many uh, adversaries. We have many enemies in this thing about us, man. You know, because people hate the truth, man. You know, right. they hate the truth, but I got that uh, precept with anybody uh, to what uh, I just got. This is uh, uh, Daniel 9 and uh, 14. It says, therefore, have Yahweh watched upon the evil and brought it upon us? For the Lord our power is righteous in all his works, which he doeth, for he obeyed not. So like, for we obeyed not his work. So like it says, the most high is righteous in all his works. That's right. Again, he's righteous in all his works, man. All right, and he's gonna be righteous in killing two thirds of our people, man. You know, because they need death. Okay, they need, uh, like I said, a, a lot of those GMO babies, they need to go over there and fight that war because they ain't trying to go in the military. Because they already weak. These niggas already feminine. They ain't, they ain't even thinking about the military. They too comfortable when they bullshit, you know, being on um, uh, Instagram stars or YouTube stars and, and all this bullshit they cash out getting cashed out money and all this bullshit they too comfortable man they they really spoiled in the society all right but the Lord's about to bring a rude awakening to you niggas out here man okay he's gonna bring he's gonna put the spirit on this devil to bring back the draft and force you to go over there to fight that war man well, hey and y'all ain't even built y'all don't even have a mind of a man you know just think of fortitude or nothing don't have a mind of a warrior. A lot of these niggas out here, they have been so uh, beat down to the point where they act like women, man. It's real, it's, this society is real effeminate. It is. So, so they're gonna have to be forced to go over there and fight this upcoming third world's That's nuclear right. war, man. So you know? Yeah. You wanna, I was just gonna say, that was, that's where they gonna die at. Yeah, that's right. That's where they need to go. You just need to ship these niggas. They ain't doing nothing anyway. You might as well ship them over there to the Middle East and let them die, man. They are a waste of fucking sperm, man. Excuse my vulgarity, man. But that's the truth. That's the brutal and honest truth, man. And that's how the prophets present it, man. We are brutally honest. Lord, well, I'm going to do a lesson on it. The prophets are brutally honest, man. And we got to be brutally honest. And that's why people want to kill us. Okay? That's why they want to kill us. They're they going to come after us and persecute us. But that's all right, man. It's all to the glorification of your how about Shema was shot, man. You know? Yeah, yeah you know, as you were saying, brother, you want to be a thug, mm -hmm. hey, why not Why not put yourself in a position where you, you want to be a thug? Go somewhere where you can get paid for being a thug. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Even that was popular. Because you like toting a weapon? Hey. That won't profit them because uh, they still gonna be outside of the crazy out about like that. the rap industry. You know, they put on a persona. A lot of them not, ain't even lived that life. They put on a persona, you know, to, 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 to go out there and bewitch Jake into grabbing guns and selling drugs. And a lot of these rappers, they don't even live that. They just set up to destroy our people, man. You know? So that and that's wicked in itself, man. 
okay? And a lot of you rap niggas, a lot more of you gonna die, man. <laughs> you know, you're already getting um, killed by the numbers. You hear a rapper die every year. Numerous rappers die, get shot, you know? It, it's got worse than, than it was in the 90s, man. You know, they weren't killing each other at an alarming rate like they do now. These drill, what they call them, drill rappers, mumble rappers and all that <laughs> bullshit. Because these niggas are highly emotional, man. Yeah. Highly Im emotional. Impulsive. Impulsive. Like a fucking woman, man. Because they all women, man. You know, and they really gonna act like women when all hell break loose. You gonna see, see when, hey, the only way you gonna know a person's true colors, wait till adversity hits, man. That's when everything's gonna be revealed through adversity, man. Okay? Even us. When shit hit the fan, shit, hey, our true colors gonna That's show. Right. Lord willing, we hold strong. All right, our, our true colors gonna be to the uh, glorification of being delivered, man. Right. Our faith gonna be put to the test. You that don't have any faith, man, oh man, yeah. you have for a rude awakening. That's right. Like, adversity is one of the greatest teachers, man. Uh -huh. A hard head, make us all bad. I got a pre I'm gonna do a preset real quick. You gotta know. Uh, start at Deuteronomy chapter 7, and then go to verse 6. Okay, let's try that. Oh, yeah. That's right. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. It says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You know, the Most High had, you know, he, he had a special affection for you, Jakes. Hey, and, and what gratitude do he get from you? Man, you showing him on every, on every, on every occasion. You know, hey, you, you, you chase after the false gods. You, you, you commit all kind of abominable, abominable things. You eat abominable food. Hey, man, you just go all out with wickedness. And if I can answer your point, it makes sense that the Lord co compares the nation of Israel to a woman because our people, our people do the same thing a woman fucking does, man. Right. You know, rebellious, don't want to listen to order, you know, don't like correction. Women don't like correction. They don't. Don't want to take accountability. That's a woman. Man. You can't tell a woman that in this society, man, because she knows about the same thing, man. Right. Because she's taught in this society, she's never wrong. She, every, everything she does, man, it's, you know, it's justified, man. Even wickedness, man. You know? They have no accountability whatsoever, man. But right. the Lord, you know when accountability is going to happen for you women? When judgment That's happens, right. man. When right. judgment comes, then you're going to learn accountability, man. Right. That's right. And that's why the Lord going to humble the nation of Israel. That's right. As a whole. Because, like you said, we'll compare it as a, a delicate woman, man. Yep. Adulterous. Uh, adulterous woman. Because right. our people, man, they just do whatever the hell they want to do. Yep. Uh, the nation of Israel acts like an unruly woman, man. That's what I see. A wicked ass woman. That's what he act, the nation of Israel act like. Man. And you got some jigs that put them on the pedestal talking about their gods. Right. That they the progenitor to alive. I'm going to read it again. That's crazy. So Deuteronomy oh, 7 and 6. <laughs> For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God. Now you see, the Lord, the most high, he put you, put us on a pedestal like hell. Yeah. As if we were women, you know, like you say, yeah. like a, like a delicate woman. And what did we do? Hey, man, we, we hold around. Right. Yep, play the harlot, man. That's right. We chased, we chased it after other gods. This, everything he told us not to do, we went out of our way to do it. Yep, it was one time. Yep. Undisciplined. Yep. Like an undisciplined That's woman. Right. That's what we... The Lord kept delivering us, man. That's right. But we kept um, we, being disobedient. That's right. We knew the consequences. We knew the consequences. Yet and still, we continue to do the same damn thing. Yep. Over it's, it's and over. It's grievous. Like, somebody you always got to 
babysit, you gotta always help them, you gotta always save somebody. Right. It becomes grievous to you. You're like, what the fuck, bro? Why do I have to keep doing this? You know? Right. You tell him over and over again. You tell him, yeah, exactly. And then he sees the results and he keeps doing the same recursion. It right. becomes grievous. Like, I'm right. not helping you no more. That's how yeah. it was with the, with the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. All right, you wanna worship other gods? You don't wanna listen? I don't told you this, then the third. All right, fuck it. So that's why the ultimate judgment is going to come. It's going to be an ultimate ass whooping. Like, uh, uh, unlike any ass whooping anybody has ever got, when the Lord brings these times like no other, man, upon the nation of Israel. Hey, Jacob's trouble going to be the catalyst of it, man. You know? They're going to learn through Jacob's trouble. And ultimately, the missiles, man. You know? Ultimately, those missiles going to do, do the trick. All right? You're talking about one million degree Fahrenheit, man. Okay? And that's a pain you never want to experience. That's how the, that's the only way uh, Israel's gonna learn, alright? Judgment, man. Now, you can't tell a nigga nothing, man. You can't you cannot tell these niggas anything. They know every goddamn thing. Because they lean on to their own understanding. I can get that. Let's go first. Hey, man, uh, They'll ask you a question and then when you give them the answer. They don't like that. They don't like they don't want that. They want you to answer the way that they want you to answer. They don't want the truth for the facts. They want you to yeah. lead unto your own understanding. That's right. They they want you to speak from your heart. We don't speak from our heart. We we go by what the scriptures say. They ain't about us, time. man. You know? That's right. I got that scripture real quick. This is our Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, many of mine. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Uh, leaning onto your own understanding. How many times you tried that and how far did you get with that? Right. Speaking for myself, hey. Y'all done learned. It doesn't work too well. Yeah, it doesn't, man. We all done learned that, man. We Sometimes. all done lean on our own understanding, man. Because there's no there's no guidance, man. Right. You know, we, we grew up in this society, Esau made it to where we didn't have any guidance. At the water, Yahweh Shem outside for the apostles of Great Millstone, right. they was the one that grabbed us by the neck and pulled us out of the mixture, man. And gave us righteous God. It's the right way. So we have to purge off the old ways and do things better, man. And Lord willing, we do enough to obtain salvation. Because Esau set us up to fail. He didn't set us up to accomplish, become great. No, he set us up to fail, man. Right. And the, the way we're going to be set up to really accomplish and be great is following the law of statutes and commandments. But what does he do? He make the law slack. Right. And he knows that. That's why he puts pork in everything. He make it hard. Yep. Yeah. Uh, makes big fabric clothes so he can deliberately go off and stay disconnected from y'all by some y'all shot. <coughs> That's what he, he knows. That these elites, they know on yeah. the, on the yeah, left-hand yeah. side. That's right. They That's why they do the shit they do. That's why, why they make us go off constantly. Why man. would you do that then? Right. <laughs> You know, you, why would you put pork in everything if you right. didn't know the law that we can't eat pork according to the law? Right, right, exactly. That proves we the people. Right. You constantly oppressing us, so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans. You know who the fuck we are, man. Right. I got a free stuff. Oh, go ahead, break it This is Judah chapter 5 and verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, governor, if huh. there be any <laughs> error against this people, what I was just thinking about. and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. So basically, he was giving a brief. He was because he I forgot what the king was, but he uh, was basically giving them a brief of, of the Israelites. He was explaining right. that about right. these people, you know, right. the four one one, if you will. You know, and as the brother was saying earlier, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. If they knew it back then, hey, them devils know it now. Yeah, yeah. they know who we are. That's right. I got some more. Proverbs 3 and 6, it says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Verse 7, Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear Yahweh, and depart from evil. And that's only the, what the elect going to do. They're going to depart from evil, man. So they're going to stay in their evil and weakness. And they're going to also need, uh, uh, receive judgment, man. Boy, right? Because, hey, we've been out here for years warning. They can't say they want to warn. When, when judgment come upon them, all right, they can't say they want a uh, uh, warn and uh, uh, told, man. So when judgment come, you niggas, hey, you gonna be out in a world of hurt, literally and figuratively, man. Cause you ain't want to adhere to the words of y'all by Shmuel Shah, you know? Cause y'all, y'all know everything, man. 
can't be told anything. If it ain't coming from the white man, it, it can't be right. You know? The Persians and the Medes, that's what it was. King Nebuchadnezzar. That was it on the way. Nah, I ain't got nothing. Wait, I did have something. Hold on. I, I, I got it. So this book of uh, Sirach chapter 2 verse 5 because you had spoke on adversity oh. Proverbs, I was looking um, Sirach chapter 2 verse 5 it says for the gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity right, acceptable men furnace. in the furnace of adversity now furnace is you know, shit get hot. It gets hot in the furnace, man. That's when we're going through spiritual. All right, spiritual adversity, man. Catching all these trials, tribulations, and hell, afflictions. I got the word furnace. Yeah, it says, uh, early 13th century, it says oven, furnace. Mm. Yeah, basically, an oven, yeah. <laughs> Come, we're it going says, to the spiritual oven. Get, get Malachi for one more. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was it. All right. You just you know, okay. Sirach chapter 2, verse 5. Oh. For gold is tried in the fire. Mm, gold and it's tried in the fire. How you purify gold? You got to try it. You got to get all the impurities out. That's right. Yep. Got to put it through the test. You That's what we're doing. That's what he's doing with us, man. We're refining us. Right. If I can answer your point, you, you don't just drive a car, man. You got to test drive it, bro. You know, you got to test drive it. You gotta keep, you gotta look under the hood. Yep. You gotta test it, see if it can, you know, go the distance. Right. Yep. <laughs> That's what the Lord doing with us, man. You gotta make sure we right. That's right. You know? Can we stand the test of time? Uh -huh. Can we endure to the end? Mm -hmm. And that he, he, do, he does that, that's, you know, with all the afflictions to try you. Uh, you know, see if you can make it, see if you can pass them tests, man. You know? It's a refining process, man. If you can't do, if you can't go through the refining process, then you're gonna remain unpure, man. And you ain't gonna be worthy of salvation. That's what we're trying to do, man. As men of the Lord. In other words, if you, got, if you got a chick in your armor, hey, Satan gonna find a way, hey. Yeah, you gotta do it. To whatever you're vulnerable to. Mm -hmm. He plays on your weaknesses. That's man. right. Yep, that's right. That's Satan's playground. Uh -huh. Your weaknesses. You add some more? That was it, bro. All right. Yeah, you I'm go trying ahead. I'm to verify it. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, starting at verse 1. Oh. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Mm, now that little oh. word oven, man. You know, the furnace is cold. It's like an oven. You know, y'all going to go through the actual uh, heat, the actual fire. It's called the nukes. All right? The Ossipia nuclear missile is about to be launched on America. Y'all gonna be refined the hard way. Purified the hard way. All right, you fight. Start from something. This is the book of Malachi, chapter four, verse one. Done. Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Got a precept. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly mm. shall be stubble. All right, all that do wickedly, all the proud is gonna be stubble. You're gonna be destroyed, man. Because you wanna lean on to your own understanding. And you ain't want to go through the, the spiritual um, fire. So the Lord's going to give you the actual fire to go through and, and learn and learn from that. You know? Because niggas like the, the brother said earlier, uh, the talk said earlier, niggas like learning the hard way. Why can't you just learn the easy way and be, you know, be good? Learn the hard way and, and, and instead of learning the hard way and regretting it, man. The decisions you, the fucked up decisions you made, man. Because you want to lean onto your own understanding. That king was never connected to like Brother Judah. Huh. I got a few seconds. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Right. The, the, the day that cometh shall burn them up. So that day is going to come when America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man. And you niggas going to be burned up right along with the white man and the other nations, man. That's left behind, man. 
Because America will be destroyed, believe it or not, in your lifetime, man. That's right. Okay? World War III is being amped up right now. Okay. Russia, China getting ready. You know, North Korea. Okay? These nations, hey, the Lord is gathering these nations to destroy America, man. That's going to happen, man. Okay? Whether you accept it, believe it or not. Okay? In our lifetime. You got it, bro. And the day that cometh shall burn them she up. He said, shall burn them up, man. He didn't say I might burn it up. That's right. I'm thinking about it. It says he shall burn it up, man. He's going to burn it up because the Lord is a man. He should not lie. That's Everything right. that's written is going to come to pass in his book. Come. And, and, and 2024 might be the year, Lord willing. It's man. already predestined. It's been predestined for thousands of years. That's man. right. The Lord wrote these books, you know, for the things that happen in this time that we're living in now. Mm -hmm. You know? That them, they had warships over there on the Red Sea. U.S. warships got attacked. Oh, yeah, yeah, I seen that. So things going to ramp up. You know, the, hey, that's an act of war, man. That's right. You're talking about an act of war on American soldiers, man. You know, Biden, you can't let, hey, he can't let that slide, man. They're going to have to find out who did it, and they're going to have to just declare war, man. You know, they're going to have to ramp this third world, uh, world's woe up. You know, because, hey, you're going to bring the war. If they're having all these um, ceasefires ain't working, what what happened after that? They, they uh, started right bad back. bombing. Because this man, he can't bring, he can't, he can't be a peaceful man. All he knows is war, you know? Hey, that red horse. We yep. took peace from the earth. That's right. Yep. Six. Huh. That's right, man. Eat him. Eat him. I don't want him. He, he right. can't help it. He can't help it but be the devil, man. It's, it's in his you nature. Know? It's in his DNA. It's, it's, Beware it's of the beast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. It's in his spirit. Mm -hmm. You got to preach up. You got to go. I, I was doing that. This is the book of uh, Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse. I'm going to start at verse 17. It says, And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. That's lucky. Let me look up that word dross real quick because I, I looked it up before. Sure it has something to do with being impure. Yeah, 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 impure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. Undesirable. Yeah. Okay, the, uh, the, on the online etymology dictionary it says dross. It says dirt, dredge, refuse of impure matter which separates from a liquid and falls to the bottom or rises to the top. So basically it's impure. Impurities, uh, and you can see, like the scripture says in Jeremiah, they have become. Uh, uh, you always they have become degenerate. Uh, degenerate. Yeah, yeah, degenerates. You know, it's like it. Okay, it says in the figurative sense, it says worthless remainder of what was once valued. Whoa, what was once valued? I brought out on um, Deuteronomy seven and six. It said he created us to be a holy people. But for the most part, the nation of Israel became un unvalued, man. Why did they become unvalued? Hey, hey, the brother going to bring it out. <laughs> this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, starting at verse 21. Uh. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, uh. holy, a right seed. So the Lord right. said he planted us a noble vine, holy, and a right seed. That's right. That's how you know. But what happened? What happened? Read on. How then are thy turn? Into the degenerate plant mm. of a strange vine. So you became me. a bunch of goddamn uh, degenerates. You done That's downgraded. Right. That's what pretty much it means when you mm -hmm. look it up in the etymology. It means downgraded. That's you done right. downgraded from being gods to fucking ooh, peasants, ooh, man. Ooh, That's ooh, right. Ooh. You went from being a lily oh, I know you got to a, a, <laughs> a thorn bush. <laughs> I got something for you, bro. Uh, well, what you were saying, Tom? I was saying you. You went from being a lily, which is the most high favorite flower, mm -hmm. to a thorn bush. Yep. A thorn, a in, thorn his, in his side. <laughs> Come. Seriously, man. This is a Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6, it says, but I'm going to start at 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh, my power, commanded me that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely, this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Mm, we can break it down. So that what made us wise and understanding? What made us on a certain level? The law Texas commandments. That's so right. when our people left that, we became degenerates. That's right. Following after what the heathens do. But the heathen, they 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 was 
they base any fucking ways, man. That's right. We're above them, like the brother got Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We above them. But right. when we started leaving our customs, we basically went down. We That's went right. he got on the elevator and hit down hit the down arrow, man. Okay. Right. You know, the Lord was elevating us. That's right. Through the law steps commandments, we we're elevated. That's right. through faith, man. Uh -huh. But what happened, man? We lost that weight. And, and we done plunged. That's right. We done Bam. plunged worse than the economy, man. That's right. <laughs> like, the twin, like the Twin Towers. <laughs> like, hey, we plunged we worse than the Twin Towers, man, right. as a nation, spiritually, man. That's right. right. And we done became dross. Yeah. You know, but the Lord only needs a few good men. That's called the elect, the one third. He don't need all Israel right now. That's right. Two thirds got to be purified the hard way. That's the only way they're going to learn. Yep. See, right. we're learning right. We're learning our lesson right now because it's good to be vexed and you know, can sit. Hey, that's a good thing because that let that lets us know we're in the right spirit, and we, and we want something better. We want something better for ourselves, man. We don't want this shit. This is a, this is oppression, man. That's right. We're tired of working the nine to five. We're tired of being slaves here in America. Gotta pay for everything. Shit. Right. We should just get that shit off the strength. Gotta we. Hey, we gotta pay for water. We gotta pay to have lights on, man. We just, that's a uh, uh, natural necessity. Which, we don't have to pay for. When man. it comes to the light situation, right. uh, was it Tesla? He was making it to where we could get free electricity. And yep. guess what he saw want to do? He want to charge you for it. Because mm -hmm. he's the devil. Yep. Everything that we have in this life, we can get it for free. But what the, what the devil does? He's in power, so he took it over, and he colonized it, and he charges you to get it. Right. Man. right. Which That's we can right. get this shit free. Right. You got to have a, a license to go fishing. You know? That's how bad it is. You got to have a license to go fishing. Man. Nikola Tesla. You goddamn devils, man. You gotta pay for everything, man. Really, they tax you to breathe. Yeah, that carbon that bullshit carbon that they trying to do. Yo, they, they, you gotta pay to breathe. You know, Your man. carbon footprint. Yeah. When, which, when, when our reality, it's an article. I seen an article. It, it said basically, you y'all a bunch of hypocrites because y'all emitting more carbon than we are. Right. Y'all got the private jets. Y'all live the lavish lifestyle. Y'all got the yachts. Y'all live all. Y'all do all of this shit in the earth. But you worry about our problems. Hey, Judgment be going on all week, man. Oh, uh, yeah. So like I was saying, it was a uh, it was an article on Zero Hedge. It was basically speaking about the hip the hypocrisy of these elites. They the ones that they have a higher carbon footprint than us. So why the hell is, is it a problem? It's a problem when we do it, but it's okay, it's, for, them it's okay it. for them to do it. right? Because it's just another excuse they want to use to limit and control every goddamn thing. Right. Lord willing, I find that article. It was on Zero Hedge. I seen it like probably last week sometime. You know why? Because this devil, he, he's about control, man. That's, That's right. right. And the so-called white man is about controlling it. That's why he wants to see him chip everybody. Uh, it's about complete control. He want to know when you sleep, eat, have sex with your woman. He want to know everything. Go to the bathroom. You know, and that's what he's gonna do with that implant, man. When he crashes this dollar and puts that device in everybody, but he ain't gonna put it in the elect. Lord, Lord willing, yeah, some right of those up. men. Because why would you want to live like that? We get they track everywhere you go, man. They just do. They just see what Esau do is he 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 smooth shit over. He yep. tell you the the perks. He tell you the perks of it, but yep. he don't tell you the other. It's a lot of shit he leave yep. out. He don't give you the whole thing. He don't tell you about the cancer source. He don't tell you about the, the control of everything. Just like a recruiter, a military recruiter. Yeah, they, they give tell you, the, you good. the benefit, the good of it. They don't tell you the, right. the, oh, the, oh, the it's fine. Oh, it's smoother than butter. Yep. Softer than oil. Can you get that barbecue shot? You know? Nah, let me finish uh, real quick. Yeah, you got it. Can I finish uh, Deuteronomy 4? Deuteronomy 4 and 7. It says, so what nation is this? Is there so great who had the most high so nigh to them? Ask Yahweh our powers in all things that we do call him for, call upon him for. It says, and what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? So that right that lets you know the law, the law is what makes us important, man. On a certain day. Uh, this is the book of Pro. I mean Psalms 55 and um. Verse 21, I'm going to get to the point, verse 21, it says, The words of his mouth were softer than butter, mm -hmm. but war was in his heart. Right. His words are, were softer than oil, 
yet where they're drawing swords. So this man, he speaks he's a smooth talk. Smooth talk. He's a smooth talk. Because really, in the back of his mind, hey, he want to bring, he want to bring um, pain on you, man, and hell on you, man, and death. Yep. Concerning you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. See, they lure you with smooth words. That's right. All right, just to trap you up at the end and destroy That's you, man. That's right. They tell you what you want to hear, to suck you in, and then uh, they go for the kill. Chew you up, right. spit you up. Yep, that's right. Yep. Prime example is all the treaties that they made with the Native American Indians. And yep. then, hey, so-called Negro, hey, whatever happened to their 40 acres and their and the mule? Never got it. They ain't gonna get it. They ain't gonna the get it. The 40 acres and the mule, we want is the king. That's right. Fuck this shit. We don't want this fucking reparation, man. We don't man. want your reparation. But at the end of the day, say how pathetic they was to give you reparation. You gonna have to pay it back any goddamn way. Yeah, they, they gonna get the money you, back. They, they gonna get the money. You, Cause they still in power. Yeah. Right. You gotta go to them for one new right. bargain. Right. Exactly. You gotta get the money right back to the ones but you see, got. It, Esau is such a stingy ass bastard. Scripture right. said he's a niggard at his table. Come. Even though he know he's still gonna get the money, but he ain't gonna get that money to you niggas, man. Oh no, Hell no. <laughs> he that'll won't be, even help his own guy. That'll be too people, much man. like exactly. that'll be, be too, too much like yeah. helping um Ukraine and Israel. That's right. That'll, 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 that'll be too much like doing the right thing, man. Shit, that ain't even that ain't even nowhere near their program. No. Right. They wouldn't they wouldn't send all their money over there yeah, to them Khazarians. Yeah, and uh, and the fucking um Ukrainians, so called Ukrainians over there. But they they feel the um help their own people over here in Belgium. That's right. Converts. Man, they say the ones that are refugees over here are living lavishly, man. Hey, they got they, pro they probably got living they in got condos. family here. They living in condos. They got they probably got family yeah. here, yeah, man. Yeah, they're living oh, in man. condos. They they provide them with condos and hey, all types of lavish shit. Vehicles. They probably got family over this motherfucker, That's man. Right. You know? Huh. I got some. This is um Sirach chapter 12, verse uh 10. It says, Never trust thy enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So you can't trust the so-called white man when he tells you, you know, uh, he's gonna do um this for you and it seems good. And it's, he has an agenda behind everything he does, man. Just like um, the stimulus checks, you had to pay them back, believe it or not. You know, and, uh, them years you had those stimulus checks, and next year you didn't get as much income tax money back. You know why? Because you pay, you basically paying that back, man. They ba hey, they basically uh, made you pay for uh, receiving the stimulus check, man. You know, and just like the brother was going in to He broke all those uh, so-called peace treaties that uh, uh, they made with this damn devil, man. He broke every last one of them. You can't trust them, man. Verse 11, it says, Though he humble himself, humble himself, and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, man. Hey, hey, he says go uh, left, you better go right. Yeah. He be, hey, he's telling you go up, you better go down. Hey, don't don't trust this damn devil, man. Yeah, I, he, yeah. does, he does opposite. You better do the opposite. Man, he said, quick testimony about an Edomite, man. I, okay, real quick testimony. My, my truck was missing a part that I needed. Right. And I had, you know, basically asked him for advice on where I could get this part from. Right. So this damn Edomite, <laughs> he trying to tell me, he going to tell me you better shop around. I'm like, oh, you know what he talking about, right? right. Find somebody truck and just take it off of their truck. Right. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I was thinking to myself, like, why the fuck would you? The Esau just inherently wicked, man. Right. Okay. You know, they always. Why would you people. give me that kind of advice? He the, he the type just of take guy would take somebody yeah. else's fucking view. That's like, that's on, the type bro, of guy he is. That's when he said that he and would the, take exactly. the part off somebody else's car to fix somebody else's car. Yeah, this is like fucking eating yeah. man. I was like, man, this devil, devil man, mm -hmm. tell me do some bullshit <laughs> like that. Man. That's he, he can't help himself, man. It's, it says again, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Right, his wickedness. Yep. That's right. You know, he saw he can put on a, he can put on a show all he wants to. He crap, he act like he not the wicked, but he really is, man. You know, he's that base man. He's still that base man. They was, it was, it's in their nature to be like it that That's way, right. man. Be the fucking wicked. Nah.
he's, he's like a, he's like a lover. He cannot change his spot. It's strange from the womb. There ain't nothing gonna change. Right. From the womb to the tomb, he's yeah. still gonna be the devil. I got a precept. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two and verse four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Hey, his soul that is lifted up is not upright in him, man. Hey, Esau, eat him. He can't be right. He can't be righteous. He can't be just. He can't have a justice system. All right, if you know what the word justice means, it means to uh, do right, uh, 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 righteous. Righteous. He was created to be, he wasn't mm -hmm. created to be righteous, so it cannot be a justice system. Right. It's a system, but it ain't just. Right, it ain't just, because how, how are your judges Freemasons, man? Right. You know? Right. Why is Freemasonry, they can get a pass with everything. Mm -hmm. Why was the leaders, why the presidents, why are they Freemasons? Mm -hmm. That's right. And they don't they don't um, judge righteously, man. That's why they, they lock you up for a damn ounce of uh, weed, man. Yeah. You, should, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. You know, a, a, pe a petty crime, man. They'll lock you up for, for no, a numerous amount of years, man. You know, here it is, a man of the innocent. All right, he'll be behind bars for 30, say about 25 years, and then eight years later, they find out he was innocent. They just wanted they that money. Out. They just wanted that money. They just wanted that money, because they get money off of Jake's in jail. Right. These right. niggas going off to jail, love to go into jail. Esau just letting, he love that shit, man. They getting a check from the state, man. For every inmate, they get money, bro. You know, and most of these prisons be private organizations. Yeah, that's right. They just racking up that money, locking you niggas right. up. Send them on out there. And you know what? It's, More money from out in their pockets. It's, it, it, what's really wicked is the fact that, hey, a lot of these guys that they send to prison, they know they're innocent. But hey, like you said, it's all about that money. Hey, what do they care after you done been in there 25, 30 years? One man had been in there damn near 50 years, and they knew he was innocent all the time. That's crazy. That's the more on that. Yep. But the just shall live by his faith, yea, also, because he transgressed by wine. Mm -hmm. Transgressed by wine. He is a proud man. Mm -hmm. Neither keep him at home. An example of his wine is democracy. Democracy is the fucking worst shit ever. Mm -hmm. You know, usually governments are theocracies. That's, that means it's governed by a god. But this, this fucking society is a democracy. It's ruled by fucking devils, man. Yep. That's right. And you got um Russia, you know, they banning that LGBT shit, man. Right. All right they they going in bars and, and, and label them terrorists, and that's yeah. fucking beautiful, man. Cause they ain't with that shit, man. Right. That homosexuality bullshit, that LGBT bullshit, man. You know, if this was such a uh, such a God fearing society, why you allow that shit? Right, a theocratic. It's, it, it was supposed America was supposed to be. Established as a theocratic society, a God fearing nation, that's right? That's what they said. Yeah, that's what they said. Mm -hmm. But right. the actions don't match the um the the, the words. Exactly. Right. I'm gonna look up the word theocratic real quick. Right. 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 I got the word theocratic theocracy real quick. Uh, the, the word theocracy it says a system of government in which priests. Mm. Rule in the name of a God. Right. The priests. Who the uh, nation of priests? Us. Got you know, so-called Negroes, you, Latinos. You gotta bring that out. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Yes, it's it's right. supposed to be ruled on the governance of, of Yahweh by Shem and Shah. Right. Not a man and his fucking opinions. Yep. Like the so-called white man. It's supposed to be ruled by the, the law, statutes, commandments, man. Okay. Because if it, if you it's ruled. Especially under the devil, it's ain't gonna be ruled properly, man. Yo, this society is ruled by the wicked. Right, and the Lord is the one that should be um, determining who's supposed to be on the throne, if you will. Not, not the people. What the fuck do they know? Right. You no, know, it's like in America, the people gotta vote. We gotta vote for this guy. Vote for Obama, but he's nothing but a damn sodomite, man. Right, exactly. You don't even know him from a hole in the wall. You just vote motherfuckers in. Right. You don't even know the motherfucker's background. You just voting them in because he sound he sounds good. Yes, we can. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He said he's a great orator. So yeah. you know, he just a, you know, just a looking at it from a, a carnal perspective, man. Like you know, his pork shop being passed. But you don't know their spirit and their true intentions, That's man. Right. That's right. 
He Let's was, destroy you niggas, he man. Was trained by the devil. You was trying right, to speak yeah. that eloquent, man. That's right. right. You don't think they train these niggas, man? It's just because a motherfucker speak eloquent don't mean he's smart either, man. Just throw that out there. Right. Like these fucking dumbass college students, man. I want to back up the 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 uh, theocracy. This is the book of um Revelation chapter one, uh, verse four. It says, and from Yahweh's shop, well, I'm gonna start it. Yeah, uh, Revelation 1 and 4. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be to you and peace from, the, from him which is and which was and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto the most high and his father to be, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever a month. Right. So it must be ruled by righteous men. That's right. Under the order of Yahweh, that's how the society is supposed to be ruled again by the laws that commit us. You know, it don't supposed to be ruled by the so-called white man's ideology, man, right. which is wickedness. That's why you got LGBT, you know, women's women ruling over men, feminism, you know, that's all wickedness, man, witchcraft. You know, you can you can uh, come as your age, hey, you can um, um, get in any religion, serve any god. That's under the governance of the wicked, man. It's not under the um, ordinance of Yahweh Shah, man. You know, you want to say something? The 501c3. Yeah, that's wicked. Paid opposition pretty much, man. Uh, to teach lies and bullshit and to lead our people into a ditch. Okay? You uh, got a lot of sellouts among our people, man. That's willing to take up a, a bag to, to destroy their own people because they, they really don't love their people, man. That's right. You know? Because they let um, carnality, carnal riches consume, all right, their judgment, man. You know? You know, that's what said, you know, hey. Those, those so-called leaders in them holly houses that won't tell you the truth. Hey man, the only difference between them and a man that stick a dagger in your back is hey. They, as a matter of fact, they don't know different. He's a killer, he's a stone killer. Man, he's no different. He just wear a three-piece suit and then pose like he's an uh, uh, angel of light. Nothing else to do, bro. You got better things. There's plenty of things to do in your wicked society than worry about us, yeah, man. That's why you had to go to uh, make a service right. to come back to you, man. That, man, that shows there, you that hey, we we in spiritual, you know, this is spiritual war, man. We got to have the truth. This this got to be the truth, man, to come just do that again. You know, this, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> this uh, is the book of Habakkuk, chapter one, starting at verse four. Uh, Therefore, the law is slighted. The law is what? The law is slack. The law is slack, man. You know? Um, you want to look up that word slack? You know, it says the law is slack. Because there ain't no proper judgment going on, man. You know, you niggas get locked up for um, unjust reasons. All right? Yes, They'll yeah. pull you over for unjust. The so-called white man is racist. Cracker cops will pull you over for no reason, man. You know? Pull you over for a tail, a, a tail light being out, then you end up in a morgue, you know, for, for a simple tra traffic stop, you know? The so-called white man, he don't judge properly, man. He judge based off hatred and spite, okay? Because he's the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. And have what nerve enough to swear in on the Bible. Yeah. And then, hey, don't, do, don't judge according to the Bible. That's right. Yeah. And where it's slack, it says, Idiolent, lazy. Mm. Look at that word. Uh, it says slothful. Slothful, yep. It says uh, characterized by lack of energy, sluggish, idolent, 
slow in movement, to be slack, be le languid, languid. Let me see what that word is. Faint, sluggish, weakness, fatigue. Want of it to be weak, fatigue. Yeah. So that's what the word is slack. You said slack, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's it. To be, it says to moderate, to make slack. To be slack, be remiss, be inactive or idle. Right, be idle. Fail. Fail. It's not, it says to be inactive. Let's focus on that. You know, it says be inactive. The laws of the most high are not active at all, man. You know, the only way they really inactive is through the men of the Lord, man, trying to rehearse the righteous acts. And other than that, it's not inactive at all, man, because you got homosexuals allowed to run rampant. You got women allowed to have authoritative positions as a man does, man, or are better positions, man, and, and, and serve authority over the, over the house and her man, like the scriptures say, man, you know? So that's a, a example, those are some of the examples of the laws being slack in this society, man, okay? Adultery is allowed. Oh, man, hey, adultery happens like, just like a, you change your drawers every day, man, you know? It's a constant recurring basis, man, that happens. And nothing's done about it, you know. And if you do do something about it, they gonna put you under the jail, man. You know, you going to jail or prison for it, man. All right, because if the law wasn't slack, hey, they'll let you go free. Be like, okay, um, hey, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a crime to put an adulterer or adulteress to death. You know. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter one, starting at verse four. Therefore, the law is slack. Right. And judgment does never go forth. Right, judgment does never go forth. Like righteous I was saying, judgment. Yeah, righteous righteous judgment. judgment. Never goes forth. You got the LGBT, feminism, man. Women's live, man. Those are not righteous judgments. Uh, homosexual get all kind of rights, you know, better than a, a so-called heterosexual man. He lives better than you. It's not just, man. That's not, it's not a just society, man. Okay, and that's why the Lord's going to destroy this place, man. Right? Through fire. Okay? Through judgment, through destruction. This place got to go out with destruction, man. There's no other remedy for this place, man. Because the scriptures say, um, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. There's no bomb for this place. You can't heal, man, because it's too big. And the Lord has um, judgment out for this place, man. Okay, he doesn't want to heal this place. It's too goddamn polluted, man. You know? It's too, it's too way left. You can't turn it right. <laughs> you know, it's too far to the left, man. Devil's in the moon. For the wicked does compass about the right. Ooh, man, what I was saying. Said, the LGBT community. We get more right, they get more rights than us, man. Hey, women. They get better jobs than a man. Get, hey, they get more rights than a fucking man in this society. And that's why they have no accountability whatsoever, man. Because they told they can't be told nothing. That's why they pride is through the roof. Because a woman can't be told nothing, man. Especially the so-called black woman. You can't tell her shit. All right? But hey, like, hey, like I said earlier, man, they're going to learn accountability with judgment. When the Lord brings judgment on this place, you women... Hey, you niggas too, but you women gonna learn accountability, man. Do do the hard the hard way, man. Destruction, man. Okay? The Lord's gonna start laying people out real soon, man. You're gonna do a lot of Grown judgment gonna continue to raise the seed. Yeah. Hey. Nah, why? Because the, hey, okay. the world is in the hand of the wicked. Get Job 9 and 24, somebody get a, uh, man, have a piece of your Proverbs 29 and 2, uh, Proverbs 9 and 6. I got a piece of it. Job 9 and 24. Yeah, so. Oh, go ahead. This is uh, Psalm chapter 10 and verse 4. Uh -huh. The wicked through the rod of his countenance 
will not seek after after the most high. Right. The wicked through the pride of his countenance. Hey, that's why they ain't seeking the Lord, because number one, they'll pray to be the wicked, and they don't even believe in the most high, because they say they're the most high. That's Esau, man. Esau Edom. Okay? That's why he wants to uh, see here, everybody, the, the awesomely play the role of the most high. But that's not going to happen because the Lord's going to disappoint his devices. You got it, brother. The most high is not in all his thoughts. See that? The most high ain't in his, in his thoughts, because that's why the law is slack. That's why he allows all this freakism out here and all this, 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 these wrong judgments to go forth in the planet Earth, man. Because they, uh, the Lord ain't, he ain't thinking about the Lord. They don't care about the Lord, man. They don't really believe in, in the Lord. You know, so that's why all this wickedness is, is, is perpetuating throughout the entire planet. Let alone America, man. This wicked society, it, it catered to wickedness. Yeah. You got it. His ways are always grievous. Mm. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. Right. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Right, his ways is always grievous, man. But a nigga had like the most high's ways is grievous. It tells you in 1 John 5 and 3 that his, the law is not grievous. It's not grievous to stop in court. You got other varieties. I was thinking about the spirit. I was thinking about that yesterday. You got other varieties of meat out here, but they these abominable foods alone you gotta have that pork when there's other variety of meats out here man you know so hey man hey this, hey the so-called white man got you niggas minds warped man we're in wickedness you know i'm just gonna say how hard is it man it's not to eat that shit right and then as i was saying you know a lot of people they know that it's against their health that it's unhealthy and it's unclean, but yet it's still, they eat it anyway. Yeah. They say, I, I know it causes high blood pressure, gout, you know, congested heart failure. Yeah, that's a sad thing. But they I was raised on it. Oh, because they were raised on it. They had like, they're going to disappoint their grandma or mother. But they did, they done cooked it all their life for them. Yeah. And, and they scared they stop eating it, that's they'll right. be disabandoned or something, man. Disbanded. That's why grandma had to get both of her legs cut off. Right. Or papa had to get his leg cut off. Mm -hmm. Or die from a massive heart attack. Right. Because a lot of people diet is poor. They don't want to they don't want to eat what's right. Right. It ain't hard to put put down that pork chop sandwich, man. Again, you got other variety of meats. You got lamb. fish, you got chicken, you got lamb, you got lamb. You know, a nigga always gotta have pork. You know, and it's all he's working on sweat. It's all the so-called white man's fault, man. But they fed us that bullshit in slavery, man. And now they conditioned it to a point where we loved it, man. You know? That's where chitlins come from. Yeah, shit chitlins. You know? That's, That's why right. you niggas got poor up. diets. Yep. Cook it up real, make niggas make it taste good. Right. Put up like, put some hot sauce. The hot sauce bad enough <laughs> to a certain extent. And too much, especially, man. They'll call them heartburn and shit, man. And on top of that, you putting that, you know, on that on top of that, you eating abomination. That's man. right. And the fact that they call them chitlin, that's just, that's enough right there, man. Anything that smells like shit, the whole while you cooking. That's why I call it shit. Man. That right. should be enough it's, right there for you to leave it. That's what it is. Pig intestines. Right. You eat shit tripe. A pig eats anything. A pig was made to clean the earth, man as a living garbage disposal. And if you want to look at it, chitlins is the worst thing to eat because pigs don't sweat. That means right. all the toxins does not come out of their body. You're going to eat the still in the intestines of the pig. Still in the intestines. It's right. still in the intestines. That's right, bro. So none of that shit really got sweated out in the toxins. It's concentrated in there. It's yeah. concentrated in there. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't, on top of that, they don't want to sweat. Yeah. No. You can't cook that shit up. Right. <laughs> it's embedded. <laughs> Pretty much it's embedded in their flesh, man. Whatever they consume is embedded in there. You can't get it out. You can't cook, you know, cook the impurity, so to speak. Out. You know, and, and it's bad enough to eat the ones that farm raised, but you got a lot of people that go out and hunt wild hogs. Right. 
Oh, Man, yeah, there ain't no telling what they be. Right. You got that Job. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Huh. <laughs> the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. The wicked is so called white, man. So like I said, the reason why all this is allowed, you got pork in Because pork don't even post to be in grocery stores. You know? The reason you got it, all these abominations and, and, and these restaurants, is because the so-called white man's rule, man. That's why. You know, you're allowed to eat pork and all these other abominations. Commit all, all this wickedness. You got it, brother. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Huh? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Which is Esau, the wicked is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Read. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Why he covered the ultimate judge, which is who you call Jesus Christ, a uh, so-called black man. He's actually, in actuality, according to the scriptures, he's a so-called black man. You know, so he changed the truth into a lie, man. All right, you got it, brother. If not, where and who is he? So if it ain't the white man that's doing all this wickedness, who, who's doing it? Because last time I checked, they're ruling. They got control over the earth, man. We damn sure don't. You know, you niggas in the slums, and you can't even control your own destiny, that's so right. to speak. Their face on the money. Right, their face is on the money, man, not yours. You know, but a nigga's free. A nigga love to say, I'm free, man. I'm free. We ain't okay, free. You can't even free. Yeah. Drive without a license. Right. Exactly. Drive without a that's fucking insurance. Last week. Drive without no motherfucking insurance. That's right. right. See how free your ass is. Right. Try to pay, uh, try to go on, just go on a bus without paying your fare, man. Right. Try to get on a plane without paying your yeah. plane, yeah. Yeah. Paying right. for it. Try to, leave the, your ass try to leave the country without a passport. Right. Exactly. Right. 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 See what happens to your ass, man. <laughs> You niggas ain't free, man. You niggas can't even free yourselves out of your, uh, the condition you want, man. I'm talking about you free. First of all, there ain't no free will. The most hot guys are steps. Yep. Hey, all, hey, all praises, he led us to this truth, man. That's we right. got a shot at being saved, unlike you niggas out here, man. At least we trying and we, we, we got a shot. We know we got a shot. You niggas ain't even trying, man. Make it so bad, you got niggas that you know they Israelites and deliberately going off and ain't even trying, man. But it's tell you to keep it long. You fucking hypocrites. You know? You know, and these, these devils, some of them got the nerve enough to tell you to go back where you come from. Right. Yeah, you couldn't go back if you wanted to. Right, exactly, yeah. man. We Try shot going back. Let's and, see what happens. And if we say hypothetically we was to go back, every every Israelite was to leave this place and crash overnight. That's man. right. You know, and you know that, man. Y'all ain't gonna work. Y'all don't bust y'all ass. Y'all ain't gonna get out there and um, hammer down anything or work hard in the hot sun. You can't even survive in the sun. All y'all want to do is supervise. Right. You don't want to do no tell, tell Jack what to do. That's right. And get paid a boo boo money just to sit on their ass and, and um, dictate what needs to be done. While Jake doing the hard the, the, the hard stuff, man. They carrying the heavy load, man. Getting paid crumbs. You know? That was it on that. You got that Proverbs? Yeah, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29. You said verse 2, right? Yeah, you started this. Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2 says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. There's a lot of mourning right now. People, yeah. you got Edomites mourning. You got so called That's white right. people making uh, rap videos of how life, a hard life is now. They can barely pay their bills. That's right. You know? Well, hey, welcome to our world, uh, so-called white man. Now you know how a nigga feels. You know? Now y'all catch your hell. You know? And you and you and white biting, you want Trump back in so bad, like he gonna make anything better. And you niggas talk about having Trump back in there, man. He's still the wicked. Because the, the, the wicked still gonna be in authority and people still gonna be mourning. Those Palestinians right. over there catching hell, man. All right, bombing the shit out of them. You got these other nations; they want to, they want to see the so-called white man eradicated. What the fuck wrong with you niggas, man? But that shows you who's ruling. Going back to Job nine and twenty-four, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, man. All right. Not there was any more on that. Uh, it's the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter twenty-nine, verse two again. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. 
I'm going to jump down to verse 16. It says, yeah, when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases. There you go. When the wicked multiply, transgression increases, man. Right, it says that in, uh, I'm going to get it real quick. First oh, yeah. Maccabees precept. So transgression, uh, wickedness increases, man. You know, that's why, again, you got all the, this freakism, these abominations, you know. People are overweight because they ain't even um, eating right. All right, you got obesity at an all-time high. Okay, because people don't want to, uh, people don't want to keep the dietary laws, you know. That's an example of that, man. Transgression increasing, man. Because you've got the so-called white man uh, uh, um, spearhead and, and all this, man. Because he's the wicked. You got it, brother. This is our first Maccabees chapter 1, verse 7. It says, so, a so Alexander reigned 12 years, Alexander the Great. It says, and then died. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. Ptolemy, Ptolemy, Lassimaeus, Cassandra, and Seleucus. Those were the four kings, the four generals that ruled uh, after uh, Alexander the Great passed on. He died. Verse 9 it says, And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years, and evils were multiplied mm. in the earth. Evils were multiplied, man. So, hey, that's an example of the transgression increase. Yep. You know, and, and a lot of Israelites back then, the time of Antiochus, they lost their way because they, they were um, back into a corner. A lot of back into a corner because Antiochus is bringing hell on them Israelites. You're going to follow the ways of the Greeks or you're going to be put to death. Uh, and a lot of them folded and they gave in. You know? But you had the Maccabees was pretty much saviors too. All right? That um, carried on the traditions of uh, uh, the law, the, the laws and uh, statutes, commandments of the Most High, man. That's why you was uh, uh, fast forward to your house shot time. You still had um, our people, a lot of cousins of the Lord. While the, the rest of uh, Israel was after the Greeks, you know. So the Lord put the spirit on the Maccabees to, to, to carry those um, the, the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High, man. You know. And right now we're spiritual Maccabees uh, as far as the elect. Because um, the nation's going to come through us starting with Yahweh Shah. The next kingdom, because the, the scriptures say the kingdom of heaven is in you. So Lord willing, we are the elect. The kingdom of heaven is in us, man. You know, and that's why the, the, the rest of Israel is going to be uh, brought back through the loins of the elect. You know? Yeah, something up. I'm, I'm gonna finish this. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 13, 16 it says, When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases, but the righteous shall see their fall. Now we're gonna see the fall of the wicked real soon, man. Lord, when we owe that number, we're gonna see the fall of uh, Esau, the so called white man, the other nations, and including two thirds of our people. We're gonna see your fall too. Why? Because you join hand in hand. That's why you're gonna fall too. All right? You're gonna fall with this devil. Old saying, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And this devil, he going to fall hard, man. Just like the Roman Empire fell. They didn't think the Roman Empire was ever going to fall. But guess what it did? Yep. Same thing with the Neo-Roman Empire, which is America. It's going to fall. It's going to fall hard, man. They say history don't repeat, so, repeats itself. But it sure is, uh, it sure is uh, familiar or similar or something like that. It does repeat itself. Because it the does, Lord right. says um, it's, it's scriptural. Oh, they say it does, it does rhyme. That's basically saying the same damn thing. Right. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. Let no man deceive you by any means, man. Who's the ultimate deceiver? Esau, so-called white man. That's why he's the devil that the Bible speaks of. You got to go. Well, that day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first. Right, and we fell from our heritage, man. So that falling away already happened, especially during what, what, 70 AD? You know, during the time of um, the um, Vespasian. Yeah, the, uh, the Flavian dynasty. Flavian dynasty, Flavian dynasty yep. Which Flavian means yellow, yellow hair. Yep. Leopards, dogs. <laughs> you know, they took us down, man. That's, that's basically how that fall, falling away really happened, man. It, it kicked off, man. And ultimately, we lost our way when we were brought over here on the shores of America, man. Calling ourselves Negro, Mexicans, Hispanics. We lost the way of the, our, our true heritage, man. We're not black. We're not Negro. Not African. 
where Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you Mexicans, we're Hebrew Israelites. We all brothers, man. But the, the so-called white man got us divided, man, killing each other, man. Divide and conquer. Divide right. and conquer. It's called divide and conquer, man. Okay, that's what it's called, man. But the Lord's about to set things aright real soon. We destroy this place. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High. Perdition means destruction, mm -hmm. son of destruction. The scripture says what? Thief came not but to kill, steal, and destroy. Who is that? Esau. He fits the description. What did he do? He didn't come and bring flowers and lilies to this damn land. He came over here, killed people, destroyed the people, destroyed the land, and stole every goddamn thing. That's Check, 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 man. That's Esau, man. Yep. That's the checklist. Kill, steal, and destroy. That's what he's going to do. Now, he don't pose like he was coming peacefully. Right. Peacefully, but I'm going to get John 10 and 10. What happened? He stabbed, stabbed him in the back. Like the, the devil After they told him how to survive. Called him to be self-preserving. You know, self-preserving. Yep. And what did he do? He turned around and stabbed him in the back. Yep. This is John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and kill and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. So Yahweh shall come to bring us life. You know, because what Esau want to do, he want to take away our life. You can see that clearly with the chemtrails and sprays in the air. All these fucking particles and shit and metals and shit he sprays in the air. The food that he feed us. Our living conditions. Can't you see he's killing you niggas, man? Right. You know, he put you in ghettos so you can intentionally hate on each other. Eventually, you know, you put people in such close proximity to each other, issues start to occur, man. That's right. Yeah. You know? Problems. Problems start to occur. Right. And like Esau in, knows that shit. Like in New York, it's basically a concrete fucking jungle, man, over yeah. there, man. That's why they act so hostile and shit. Yeah, and niggas everybody just crammed up. Yeah, stuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, everybody out there, they got a fucking attitude, yeah, man. Everywhere you go, man. Yeah, everywhere you go, you got a chip on their shoulder. Dog eat dog. Dog eat dog, as they call it. Yeah, imagine, hey, how much more when all hell break loose, man? The scriptures say the love of many gonna wear its clothes. Shit, man. Hey, you people, you niggas really gonna uh, be out for each other, man. Heads, <laughs> man. Because, hey, there ain't gonna be no food. Right. Yeah, you ain't gonna have no jobs. It's gonna be survival of the fittest when That's all right. hell breaks loose out here, man. That's right. The society's about to collapse. Yep. And you women, hey, you can forget about it, man. If you don't have a man of the Lord, you can forget it, bro. And a lot of you women gonna be fucking rejected, man. That's yep. right. <laughs> Wait, man. I'm telling you, man. I Wait, see man. Lord willing, I see a couple of faces. Yours. No, man. nah. <laughs> nah, nah. Especially, nah, hey. Here, yep, yeah, especially a woman that turned you down. Talk shit about you. Hey, you may just been with, proud. and she shitted on you. Proud. She yeah. fuck your life up. She try to come back to you. Hey, boy, hey, you might get you might get your head chopped off, man. Yeah, you might get swift destruction. <laughs> That's right. Have you tried it down as mine? That's right, man. See, I can kind of set this up. My life, bro. Oh, you got it, bro. Refuse, you know, oh, still reading. This is Second uh, Thessalonians two and four. Who opposeth and exalted himself above, above all that is called the Most High, or that is worship, so that he is as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Showing himself that he is the Most High, man. And now ye know what withhold him, that he might be revealed in his time. Right, he's being revealed in his time. His time is now. Because he's, he's being revealed to be what? The devil. All right, because back then they ain't necessarily knew who the devil was, but now they know it's being revealed. Who the devil is? It's the so-called white man. You saw Edom, man. You know, really, hey, it wasn't, hey, uh, the Lord talk about uh, setting a mark on Cain. Really, you supposed to know who the wicked is then, but you know, yeah, but that time, yep, they normalized being an Edomite. They, yeah, they normalized, normalized yellow hair. 
Yep. Which back then normalized, yep. Yep. Conditioning, if you will. Mm-hmm. Huh. Uh, what's the uh now you got our women chasing after that damn blood yep. ass out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they have been told all their lives that this is how this is what beauty looks yeah, like. Yeah, this is what's on magazines. Right. It's in movies. That's right. You yeah, know, they, the scripts they say art imitates life. Yep. I think I got it. I think I figured out. Yep. And they they um, depicted black as being ugly. You know, so called right. black negative. That's, when you see these, uh, y'all have seen these videos of um little uh, uh, Jake kids picking out the color of a dog, which is prettier. Yeah. They always choose the white dog, man. Yeah. Why? Because like the brother said, they have been conditioned, yeah. conditioned yeah. of what beauty is. Yeah. <sighs> there ain't nothing beautiful about looking like a leprous motherfucking caveman, man. I got some yeah, experiment with you know? well, them. You know what? I'm going to get it on my phone. I'm going to get it on my phone. Number 12. I'm going to get it on my phone. I got it queued up on my phone. Whenever you go on. Okay. Hopefully it lasts two, two hours. Okay. Right. My, that Just phone is fully charged. You know, that's damn fair. Damn. Hey. We've been in the for like an hour and 20 minutes. Oh, it's a change. Yeah. Uh, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 12. I'm going to get straight to the point. Basically, you know the backstory. Miriam said some words against the, uh, against Moses, and the Lord heard it, and he wasn't too, he wasn't too yeah, he wasn't, wasn't too pleased, pleased with that. That's why you gotta watch what you say about the men of the Lord, man. Yeah. Especially you women, because he took it out on her. It was Moses and Aaron. What's like it? Uh, it was Aaron and uh, mm -hmm. Miriam. That's right. But guess who got punished? Miriam. Yeah. Okay, this is the book of uh, Numbers, chapter twelve. I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm gonna verse 9, it says, And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against them, and he departed, and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous, mm. white as snow. Right. Mm -hmm. What color is snow, brother? White. white. <laughs> yeah, she, she, hey, the Lord took the pigment from her ass. That's right. And what, uh, hey, Moses That's and Aaron, they, they were like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. They were in shock, man. Like, like, it's yeah. like, you, you yeah. all of a sudden, she's become... All white, like you know, all white all over her body. They're like, oh shit! You know? But you were talking shit, man. That's right. That's all happened. Hey, a lot of you women. Hey, see, that's a lie here in America for a woman to run her mouth and talk shit about a man. And a lot of you, you talk shit about the men of the Lord. Hey, a lot of you gonna be accounted for talking shit about men of the Lord, primarily, man. Because a lot of you, you get on the comment board, spit your fucking two cents. Lord, see that, man. He's gonna, hey, he gonna hold you accountable. Every idle word you say shall be held in kind of uh, in the day of judgment. And her judgment didn't just consist of being, you know, uh, stripped of her melody. She was put away. She was ostracized for a period of time. Hey, oh, he's gonna get into it. Yeah. This is the uh, Numbers 12 and 10. And the cloud departed from the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron, and Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses, "Alas, my lord, I beseech thee, lay not this sin mm, upon us." Oh, what he called it? <laughs> lay not this sin upon us. So it's a sin. The look like the so the man uh, of sin, right? right? That's what it says in the um, Second Thessalonians uh, Second chapter. The man of sin. He's an embodiment of sin. The so called white man is the body made of sin and weakness, man. You know? That's what they've created. That's why the Lord made him like that, man. To be the wicked. So he's a, a, a manifestation of uh, what sin is. That's why it is called known as the son of perdition. That's right. The man of sin. He looks like sin. It says, Wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned. Let it says, let her not be as as one dead mm. of whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. So that's a pyramid of look, being dead, looking dead too. They're dead people. They don't have no life. Oh, they're not spiritual. You know? So that's the embodiment of being, having leprosy. That's a that's basically you dead, man. Alright? And that's the so-called white man and his whole race, man. man. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, I must be tripping. You know, but hey, they were hey, the Lord. That's why Aaron and Mo they pegged the Most High. <laughs> oh shit! 
No, it ain't want that judgment, man. It, I'm gonna get That's keep it Oh yeah, you got it. Verse 13, it says, and Moses cried unto Yahweh, saying, Heal her now, O power, I beseech thee. And Yahweh said unto Moses, If her father had had but spit in her face, she <laughs> she should not be ashamed seven days. Let her be shut out from the camp seven days, mm -hmm. and after that. Let her be received in again. Right, so and, she had to, uh, that was the law part of the law. You had to see lepers, she had to go to the camp seven days, man. Yep. Out of the camp seven days. That's right. The Lord punished her. Verse, verse uh, 15 says, And Miriam was shut out from the camp seven days, and the people journeyed not to Miriam, was brought back in, brought back, brought back, brought in again. Salakia. That was it. Yeah, so so you can only imagine what yeah. she was dealing with out there, man. Oh, man. Seven days, bro. Yep. Seven days out Blue there. Oh, hey, <laughs> she probably got chased by lions and shit. Yep. Because she's leprous. Yep. <laughs> they probably ooh looks white meat. <laughs> <All right. laughs> hey, hey, that's a horrible thing. Oh, man. Oh, she's probably out there. The sun probably hey, you know she's leprous. Yeah. You know, the sun probably was giving her hell, man. Hell, yeah. She ain't had no melanin. Yep. Yep. You just gotta, you gotta think of, you just gotta imagine that, man. what she was going through. Yeah. Yep, she was going through, yep. You know women are already fearful? Yep. They're not built like men, man. No. She can't do like we can. Hey, she, she been walk through it. And they was in the wilderness, too. Oh, man. You know it had to be pitch dark out there, bro. Yeah, Seven so days dark. out there. What the hell did she eat? Like, what did she eat? Like, man. This she is gonna do that again. And she had time to think about it. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what you gotta do, man. You have time to think, man. Yeah. It was, that was a traumatizing experience. That's why the Lord put her through that shit. So she can see, look. That's how that's how women are. That's right. Well, seven days, that's completion, right? Mm-hmm. Ecclesiastes chapter three, starting at verse 15. That which has been is now. And that which is to be has already been. And the most high Yahweh required that which is past. So he requires that which is past, man. And we don't know what we did in our past life, man. That's why we hope we are that elect in the Lord that um, um, covered our sins, man. Because the Lord going to require, you know, everything um, um, of your past. So any, like Especially the so-called white man. What he did to the nation of Israel. You other nations having us in captivity. Hey, you niggas even, there's they're sins that you won't pay for from your past life, let alone this life. Like, how was y'all crucified? A lot of y'all, y'all gonna pay for that, man. Y'all gonna die a horrible death, all right? You gonna receive horrible judgments for that. That's right. Hey, killing the prophets. Mm -hmm. A lot of you are pro uh, prophet killers, man. Some of you phony camp leaders, man, out here. Well, uh, uh, prophet killers out here, man. You know? He might make it, you know. So he requires everything for, um, that is past. But so-called white man, the one thing he wants you to do is forget about the past. He wants so-called Negroes, primarily Latinos and Native Americans, to forget what happens. Because he don't want to face his judgment. Because at least they know they got to pay, man. They know they're going to pay for what they did, man. Austin as a whole nation, he saw Edom. They know that they're gonna have to um, pay for what they did since they stand real. You got a lot of these so-called white people, they know in their spirit, you know, that's why they try to get, uh, sometimes try to uh, make sure you, you know, are you having a good day? Cause I get asked numerous times, I get asked yeah, numerous yeah. times, like, um, you having a good day? Um, well, how your days, how, like, how your days going? Cause you might like, look pissed off, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Be like, oh, why, why the fuck do you care? Nobody likes to kiss ass. Right, why, why the hell do you care? Still ain't, still ain't gonna relieve your judgment. Yeah, exactly, man. Judgment. Are you having a dick day I'm having today? A good day or not? <laughs> like, cause you looking yeah. pissed off. You looking like uh -huh. you're having a bad. Yeah. Cause they get scared when uh -huh. you know, especially with a, a Jake with a beard and you know looking all stiff. They get scared. Um, you having a good day, sir? You know, they get intimidated. 
Yeah, they know in their spirit they're going to have to pay. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. They're going to have they to pay for it. They just being good servants. They ain't going to be no they servants. Are. They're being good servants. Yeah. That's, yeah. How, that's one way to look at it. This is being a good servant. That's right. When you're worried judge, about her master. You know, when your judgment comes, there ain't going to be no servant. Right. But like I said, why the hell do you care how a nigga going to have to pay the full price right. just like we had to pay you know? the full price. No, they got to pay the interest too, man. Yeah, that's that. right. I don't, we want interest, bro. That's right. Why, why the hell you so-called white people care how a nigga day going? Why the fuck do you care? You don't care. You know, don't ask me how my day going, man. Should have them people on that side. Yeah, how, how, yeah ask them people on that slavery side that they went. Uh, on the, your hands. You know, because you know judgment is coming ultimately, man. You're going to have to pay for cap for having us in slavery. That's Y'all try to avoid y'all judgment, man. You ain't going to go scot free, man. Okay? Hey, the right. Lord required, again, like the red. The Lord going to require it, man. That's right. That was in the past. And it's still fresh on his mind. One day, it's like a thousand years to us, but a thousand years is one day to, uh, to the most high. So, of course, it's fresh on the mind. We all remember what we did yesterday. So, that's how it is. Hey, that's how slavery is to the Lord. It's fresh on his mind. I got a precept. You know, you got it, buddy. This is uh, Exodus chapter 34, verse 7. It says, Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. And that will by no means clear the guilty. God, right. visiting the iniquity of their of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children until the third and fourth generation. So you don't get away. The Edomites that used to lynch Jake back in the day, that those some of those Jake, they they back here today, man. Right. Those Edomites, they back here today. Exactly. And it wasn't too long ago. Yeah. So they back here, you know, they back here today in their lots. That's yeah. right. Being regular old Edomites. And they, that's why that judgment is coming. That's why this place is going to be flooded with nuclear missiles, man. Because y'all going to get what, what the fuck y'all deserve. <laughs> that's right, man. That's, that's going to be the worst judgment in history. The Lord got to have some serious hatred. to it. And you're going to rain down 200 million nuclear warheads. That's right. You know, that's overkill. And on yeah. top of that, the chariots. Mm. On top of that, that's overkill. That's some immense hatred, man. And he's going to pour it all out because he's been holding it in for the longest. And he's going to finally release it. And we, when he releases it, boy, you better watch out, man. You better, hey, we better hope we own those ships when that's released. Because they ain't going to be, it ain't going to be nothing nice, man. We're going to be like, oh, shit. You know? In new bodies. Lord, if we part of the elect, we're going to be like, oh, shit. In new bodies, man. Anybody had anything? Uh, I'm going to get some real quick. Uh, I preach up this coming to mind. I forgot it. Uh, this is the book of uh, Nahum, chapter 1. Uh, so like, uh, what verse is it? Nahum, chapter 1, verse 2. It says, The Most High is jealous, mm. and Yahweh revenges. Yep. Yahweh revenges, and is furious. Mm. Yahweh will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserves wrath. For his enemies. Why? Wow, he go he reserving that wrath, man. That's why he, he hold he's holding that anger back because all these prophecies they ought to be fulfilled. But yep. when he release it, hey, like I said, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be overwhelming, man. All those emotions gonna be poured out on you Edomites primarily. Two thirds gonna be in it too. Because they falling after you, man. They're gonna be in the midst of it. But hey, it's primarily for you Edomites. You know, that, that, that judgment is being reserved for you. You know, you know how you hold up so much anger? You hold up to the point where then when you release it, it's, it's very impactful. You know, you just let it all out. Hey, the Lord is, hey, hey shit. <laughs> Infinity times worse, man. Then an uh, average person, man, holding it back, anger, building it up. That's why it's not good, because we, we feel with anger, but we at least we're able to release it some kind of way for through the lessons coming out here condemning this place because hey the lord gonna let his some of his men get in on the action by giving them spiritual powers to release anger and i believe uh, shit. speaking as a man i got a lot of anger to get out man because we can only go hey the lord can only put us through so much man but eventually he's gonna get on uh, some of his men spiritual powers to uh enact uh his judgment man it's gonna be a good stress reliever too man best believe that man we finally able to get our anger out. That's right. You know? But it ain't about us. It's, hey, it really is about the Lord, man. Because the scriptures say vengeance is here. You want to say something about it? I was going to say, you know, we, 
like you said, the most high, hey, you know how Shaman was shot, got to get it. He got to get his licks in first. Hey, showing your battery low now. We good, we good on whatever he leave. Yeah. Whatever he leave for us, we good with that. Y'all must, y'all must dead. Okay. It's 104. 20, 20 battery percentage. We almost done. No, no. Well, well, we make it. Uh, this is the book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. All right, he ain't going to acquit the wicked because right now you're, you're holding yourself not guilty. You know, there's no um, accountability when it comes to so-called white people either, let alone the woman. You know, there's no accountability when it comes to y'all. Y'all get off scot-free after shooting a nigga down in the street for the most part on camera. Right. Zechariah 10, I mean, Salaka, Zechariah 11 and 5. It says, whose possessors, I'm going to start at 4. It says, thus said Yahweh, my power, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, bless me, Yahweh, for I am rich. And their own shepherd, shepherds pity them not. So you hold yourself not guilty. But the Lord said you ain't going to quit the wicked, man. That's right. You gonna hold your hey, you got pending charges against you, man. And they not gonna be dropped. That's right. The Lord ain't dropping the charge. Hey, you might drop your own damn charge, but the Lord got them hold, he holding your charges. How about that? And they're gonna you gonna be accountable for every last one of them, man. The scriptures say your sins have reached the heaven. You're gonna pay for all your crimes. Hell yeah. All you so-called white people gonna hey you other nations too. You ain't gonna get away. You're not gonna get away, man. You're gonna pay for some. That's why you're going in captivity. You're going into slavery, man. All right, anybody out of uh, the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you're going into captivity, man. Because you had us in captivity. We're still in captivity, man. All right? But pretty soon, our uh, captivity is about to be overturned. That's right. Through the spirit of power, you have by Shemal Shah, man. You know? That's right. I got, hold on, I got it. Uh, we will no longer be afraid. Uh, where is it? We will no longer be afraid. You can get uh, Jeremiah 30 and 16. I ain't bring it out a little while. Oh, here it is. I got a precept. Okay. I was looking right at it. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 12. It says, For thus said Yahweh, behold, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have a surely drunk it. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. And that cup is slavery, man. Hey, you Edomites, you so far white, but you gonna drink of that cup. These other nations, they gonna drink of that cup, man. You will pay for having us in captivity, in slavery, man. Whether you accept it, believe it or not, man. Get ready, man, because it's coming, all right? so-called white people, so-called Chinese, Japanese, Africans, you all will be going into change, into captivity and change, man. Okay? You will pay for what you have done to the apple of the Lord's eye, which is the nation of Israel. Yep. That's right, bro. Got two more. I got a precept. Well, that was it on that. Oh, you go and bring your back. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 16. Oh, this is Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Right. Therefore, all they that devour thee, which is, um, you know, the so-called white man, he devoured us primarily. You know, that y'all gonna be devoured. Well, man. And all thine adversaries, uh -huh. every one of them, shall go into captivity. Right, all the enemies, all our enemies gonna go in captivity, see that? Yeah. Captives. Y'all gonna be captives, who's like, you said, uh, I don't know. The, cap the captives, who's captives they were. That's right. Y'all gonna be captains. Y'all gonna be in chains, man. Going through rigorous rulership, man. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Right, it's called recompense. Recompense meaning payback is gonna happen to the our enemies, man. Alright? So we had to go in captivity on cargo slave ships. Guess what? You other nations gonna go on cargo slave ships in captivity under us in the next kingdom, man. Okay, ruled by our big brother Yahweh Shah. So-called black man, by the way, you got it. And all that prey upon thee uh -huh. 
will I give for a prey? So we are pray. Hey, the so-called black man, he definitely a prey right now. He get profiled. He's an ultimate target. But guess what? You other nations, especially the so-called white man, you're going to be a prey in the kingdom. You're going to be, hey, the race wars, even before the kingdom, you're going to be a prey. How about that? Because Jake, hey, the Lord going to put the spirit on Jake to get busy on you other nations out here, man. You know? So y'all going to be a praise real soon. That's right. We're going to be turned to, hey, the men of the Lord, we're going to be turned to hunters, man. That's right. How about that? Huh. That target was on our bank. We're going to be, be on put, theirs. going to be on your bank. Right, because we're the ones that's being hunted right now. The yeah. Lord's just going to turn the tables. That's yep. right. The Lord is going to give us the power to defend ourselves. That's right. Because right now, we, hey, like the scripture says, God worm Jacob. We're a worm, man. We can't defend ourselves. That's right. You no, know, Esau can do whatever the hell he want to do. You know? That's right. Until the Lord going to rise up. He, the Lord, the scripture said the Lord going to raise up a standard, man. You know? The Lord going to have to give us spiritual powers. So what the so-called white man got, as far as his um, weaponry, he got uh, all kind of military weapons that we can't combat against. Unless right. He got defenders, man. Microwave, right. microwave, microwave guns. guns. Yep. Yeah. Hey, he got all kinds of shit. And a nigga think his little machine gun going to do the work. <laughs> no, look a lot with a switch. That ain't going to do shit, yeah. man. He saw got some great weapons in that. He gave you that shit you know, to destroy yourselves, man. Yeah, he wanted he, he <laughs> want you niggas to kill yourselves more more frequently. You know That's how you give y'all clocks some switches, man. You have a, a whole piece of cake, he only give you a slice. That's the same thing with these guns, man. Right. They ain't nothing to him, man. Yeah, no. A man. clock, a what, clock 45, whatever? Clock with a switch. Clock nine, switch. Yo, clock with a switch. Yep. A switch basically makes it automatic. Yeah. Right. And, and so miraculously, they keep ending up here in America. Right, that's right. Yep. Because these devils know what the fuck they doing, man. You exactly. They're they, they not giving these niggas these switches, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Yeah. And niggas just, they get it. They're all off in the, I don't, the ain't got this, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. Little do you know, Esau is giving you that so you can keep killing each other. Yep, man. exactly. And he want, and also he wants to get rid of the guns too. So he gotta, he gotta come up problem, react to solution, mm -hmm. cause the problem, come. give everybody right, Glock right. switches and that shit. Mm -hmm. And then oh. he gonna take them, like the take person, the guns away, take them away, so he can roll on you. Yep. So you can be defenseless. Right. But the Lord again, he gonna give us spiritual powers, Lord, with some of those men. Right, because Esau is a coward. He can't, right. he can't mess with nobody that got the same weapon range as him. Right. He got, he, he got to put you at a disadvantage. Yep. And he got, he don't deal with guerrilla warfare. Either. He always got to do things at a distance, like the bitch he yep. is. And he oh, used the same God. technique. Yep. Right. Just like he flooded the neighborhood with drugs, mm -hmm. now he finna flood him with them guns. Yep. Right. So you have a reason to roll on you. And take him. Well, he yep. gonna come, he gonna come with the flood, man. Yep. Take your guns away, cause you know them guns, either mice, they ain't having it. So oh, he, yeah. he already prepared it for them. You know what I'm saying? He gonna roll on them too. You know, just you got like some Jakes like that too. Yep. Like yep. He, uh, one Jake on YouTube, I think it's called his name Black Rambo. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he always, you know, videos. He might just eat a mic, man. <laughs> he <laughs> might just eat a mic. You know, going back to uh, that Canadian prepper guy too. Niggas, niggas be into guns yeah, now. Nah, don't get it wrong. Niggas love we having guns. Niggas got about four, five, six guns, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Now on level Esau though. Right. Esau be having a whole collection. That's his blessing, man. Right. We, hey, we come back carnality with spirituality. That's the difference between us and you niggas, man. See, the uh, spirituality always wins, man. That's why the so-called white man is surely going to lose. We can't come back um, what? against spirituality. Wasn't one of the greatest snipers in the world was a Jake? Was a Jake? Wasn't he a Gadite? During World War I or World War II, one of them, something like that? Yeah, man. You know? But yeah, man. Hey, Jake, Jake know how to get down with the sword too, man. Yep. That's why Esau wanted to take them guns away. Mm -hmm. He got to worry about his own people, and he got to worry about Jake too. Yeah, if Jake knew how to actually, he was trained, Jake yeah. would be all on point. Yeah, yeah I'm, talking about, like, I'm talking about the, you know, Jake's that be in the military. Yeah, 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 they be on like point. They, yeah, they, 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 be they on talk. Because yeah. we the saw of the earth, of course we're going to match. They match the wickedness. Jake mastered it over um, past the deeds of the wicked, right. so of course. You know, uh, if, hey. That was the case, but the ble that blessing belongs to Esau, man. Right. At the end of the day, done. But you know, one thing about you know, one thing about Esau, you know, he has a structural government, right. well, a structural military. But one thing Esau has a problem with, and he showed in history, like so, uh, Somalia, he can't deal with that 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 guerrilla warfare, that that ravage, that militia type war. Mm -hmm. You know, can't be weak. 
The scripture say uh, um, he made one stronger than the other. He's he's the weak one, man. Okay. That's why you gotta do things Ooh. at a distance. Oh, uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Well, that's an example of it. Yep. Esau can't deal with that type of warfare, man. See huh? that. In Vietnam, they brought come to our world. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Esau can't beat him, man. He couldn't beat him. He knows that. Because he's a weak piece of shit, man. Guerrilla <laughs> jungle warfare. Hell yeah, man. They had them booby traps and shit. Mm -hmm. Inside them tunnels and shit. Man, Esau couldn't deal with that shit. That's why what happens when you disagree with his policies and his hegemon. He just bombs you. You know, from a distance, he's seeing a fucking drone to blow your arm, uh, blow wherever you at up, man. And if it, and it's, it's documented that they was actually using some, it was some type of chemicals they were spraying over there. Agent Green or Agent Orange or something like that. Agent Orange. Was it Agent Orange? Yeah, they was basically trying to, what they were trying to destroy the, uh, the, the rainforest or something like that. They was trying to destroy it, and then it had a negative, negative effect on the people that lived there. Yeah. You know, the kids and came the, out all deformed and shit. And the soldiers also, man. Yeah, it, it fucked them up. Came back with different types of counsel. Yeah. This man's a devil, man. Hey, expect biological warfare too. Yeah, that's what that's what it was. Hessling, yeah. hey, he's stirring up another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That um pneumonia, man. Hey, that might be the lower willing. That's the next big thing as far as bringing that demic back. Like the, um, you know what I'm talking about, C-19, man. Hey, man, it makes sense, man. It's, re he, it's like a rerun. Okay, here it is right here. It says, Agent Orn was a technical herbicide used by the U.S. United States military for control of vegetation. Mm. There you go. And as you can see, you know, we got pictures of, you know, the effects of it, it had a negative effect on the people that lived there. Damn, fucked up, bro. So we dealing with, man. Let me see. Damn, that radiation and shit, man. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They ain't gonna explain that shit. They knew. They knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah, they knew what they was doing, man. They didn't give a fuck about the negative effects that it was going to have they on those people. They didn't give a damn about their own troops. They were dropping it on their own troops. Hell yeah, they didn't give a damn. That's yeah. Esau, man. Uh, friendly fire. <laughs> Second yeah. Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6, it says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So it's a righteous thing for the Lord to recompense our enemies for what they did to us. It's a righteous thing, man. So what you hear this, what y'all Christians talking about? That's in you know, the New Testament. That's in, yep, that's in the New Testament. What are y'all talking about, man? You know, the Lord is wrong for executing, putting our enemies in slavery because they put us in slavery? Come right. on, bro. Make it make sense. Hey. An eye for an eye, a tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, man. That's how it go. Right. It just got earlier, man, how the, um, the, the Lord is righteous in all his works. That's right. So it's righteous to recompense our enemies. It's righteous for him to recompense our enemies, man. Okay, but niggas don't want that, man. They don't let bygones be bygones. We're only letting bygones be bygones is destroying you. This is the book of um, Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go yep. into captivity. Yep. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Yeah, that's plain, man. That's plain, that's a plain James. Plain James. <laughs> but hey, it must be brought out, man. Now we gotta remind you nations. That's that's what's coming for you, especially the so-called white man. We gotta we gotta keep beating in your head that you going to captivity, man. Whether you like it or not. Okay? And you will be beaten. We're gonna we're gonna beat the shit out of you, man. We, we, the law sets commandments gonna be beating in your ass, man. Like you beat um them out of us, they're gonna be beating in you, man. Through rigorous rule. Alright? Yeah. You had a pre up? Oh, okay. It says here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Yes, our patience. And our, on top of it, faith, man. We got to uh, suffer where we going through on this side, you know, in this hell hole. All right, but that's, that's our uh, patience and that's our hope. Now, we're going to get the kingdom and we're going to have servants and handmaids and slaves. Okay? Under our food. I got some. I got some meat for you. This is the book of Revelations 13 and 10 NLT. And I'm going to read the BBE after this. It says, anyone who is destined for prison will be taken to prison because ultimately we're going to have all our enemies as prisoners. It says, anyone destined to die by the sword will die by the sword because ultimately 
nuclear destruction is gonna kill a lot of people in this country. It says, this, this means that God's holy people must endure persecution patiently and remain faithful. There you go, endure persecution. You know why I said patience, patience is being suffering. That's right. Now, uh, hey, we're gonna suffer immensely with persecution, though. Because that's going to be the, the uh, highest form of catching hell. Con, con. But hey, the Lord, Lord willing, we're going to endure that, man. And, and that's that's part of getting the kingdom. We had 11%. I'm going to go ahead and read this so we can close out. Yeah, con, con. This is, the, this is the BBE of the same scripture. It says, if any man sends others into prison, into prison he shall go. He will go. If any man puts to death with the sword, with the sword, he will he be put to death. Here is the quiet strength and faith of the saints. Faith is a quiet thing, man. Yeah, that's why quiet strength. Yeah, faith is quiet, man. Like, we ain't got to, um, you know, be all loud with faith. It's a quiet thing. That's what we're doing. Like, you don't have to be out here um, expressing your super, acting like a super evil wizard. Like, you know, it's a quiet thing. You know, it's going to be known, man. That's why the scripture say, it shall be known who am I chosen. All right, so we're going to get ready to wrap up. You know, go put the phone on go. Hey, hope you edify. Gonna close out. <laughs> close out. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Now you close out. All right, with that, man, Lord, willing, you let you better sisters edify this lesson. We're gonna close out by giving our praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem. Hashem. Now we're shot by Hashem. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Rule to dwell. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.